Hello everyone, it's Elena and today I'm going to show you how to create this cool typography animation in Cavalry and we are not going to use any pro features for this one so you can create it even if you have free version and let's jump into Cavalry and start creating So we're going to start with recreating this animation the one with the rotation and then I will show you how to quickly customize it and go from this result to this one and let's start with creating some base animation so I'm going to add a text shape we'll just put a letter C for now uh, and we're going to customize this later and I'm going to use this font and font size set to 400 and I'm going to center it and add the stroke with the width uh, on 4 I think that's going to be okay and let's add some basic animation here so I'll add uh, oscillator behavior on position Y uh, make it a child of the text shape and set it to minus 50 minimum and 50 maximum and I'm going to set the time scale to 0 0.5 uh, those are not the exact numbers you have to use you can uh, add whatever you want but those are the ones that <laughs> I, I used in this animation let's also add an oscillator behavior on the rotation so we'll go from 0 to 3 so it's 360 and also 0 0.5 on the time scale and this is how it looks right now and we'll also create a string array so we can later oh, sorry not the string string array so we can later add all of the letters that we need so let's add the values here we go and then we also need to connect the string array into our text shape and of course we need to group it uh, so we preserve all the animation otherwise the duplicator is just going to ignore the animation that we created here and then we add this group into the duplicator so uh, right now we can see that it created some kind of a mess uh, because it's basically the duplicator is cycling through the string array so it uses all of these uh, values here uh, but we'll fix this a little bit later uh, for now i'm going to set the distribution to linear set it to 16 copies and the size uh, of the distribution to 285 and the direction to vertical so that's what we have right now basically we want this uh, one duplicator to be just one of the letters and to fix this we're going back to string array and turn off auto index and that's what we get over there, our letter C. So if we go back here, we can see that the size of the copies is uh, different, it's increasing. And to create the same thing, we're going back to the text shape and add a stagger on the scale. And something crazy happens here and we need to decrease those values a little bit. So right now, uh, what we can see is that uh, our front shape is the biggest one, so it is the maximum value, and the back one is the minimum, and that's kind of the opposite of what we want to achieve. So we're going to go to the graph and flip the graph. Here you can use different uh, kind of graphs to create uh, interesting results, uh, but for now I'll just uh, stay with the, you know, with this straight line. <laughs> and we're also going to add an oscillator again uh, on the maximum. I know a lot of oscillators. So we'll set it to 1 and 2.8 and the time scale of will be the one. This is how it looks for now and all the animation is happening at the same time and that's not uh, exactly what we want to achieve. So we're going to duplicator and add the stagger in the shape time of set. I'll set it to 1, 11 as minimum and maximum. But we are done with the basic animation and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and if you are just starting with cavalry uh, you might just you know want to like okay move this letter here and then <laughs> uh, create a copy of this duplicator and then change the text uh, and you know manually go through this but that is not really uh, the way to do it because uh, it doesn't give us enough customizability so what we are going to do is we're going to do it smart, obviously, and add it into another duplicator. We're going to use the distribution set to grid, but that's not the only option. You can experiment here, like I used an array tab as well to set values to specific numbers that I wanted. But in this case, I think the grid works pretty fine. So I'm going to set it to 2 by uh, 4 and something like this for the grid uh, distribution. 
and here we are so we have our award <laughs> but we have a few problems with this so let's you know tackle each problem one by one so uh, one of the things that i can see is that our scale stagger is increasing uh, over all of the duplicates and this is where the index context come into use. So right now, Calvary look at all of these duplicates, uh, duplicator one and duplicator two, and the index is flowing from here to here. So it's kind of like increasing, uh, but that's what, not what we want. We want all of the letters to be the same. So the index only increasing inside each of these copies. And to fix this, we're going to go into duplicate number one, advanced step, and turn off the use index context. So you can see already that all of this Duplicator number two copies look exactly the same. That's what we wanted. And obviously we don't just want you know, the same letter going through all these duplicates. What we want to do is we want to use the context of duplicator number two to power uh, the index of the string array. So there are two options here. So one of the options is you can connect the index context of duplicator number two into the uh, index of string array. And now you can already see that the letters are different or I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to create the context index utility and I'm going to connect the context index utility into the string array index and set the level to 2 and we pretty much achieved the same result as how we saw C, A, B like right now it's all inverted and we're going to fix this in the second but you can already understand I hope you can understand <laughs> how it works. And if we go back to the duplicator number two, uh, we can fix the order by adding the sort distribution and setting it to vertical. So right now, uh, perfect, we have our word. Uh, the only problem here is that we don't really want this uh, last letter because the, this word has an odd uh, number of characters. And to fix this, we're going to uh, go into shape visibility of the duplicator number two and then the visibility sequence. Here we can tell our duplicator to ignore certain indices. So if I draw the debug information, we can see that letter C has index, index number zero, then it increases and this last uh, Y, it has the index number seven. So we're going to uh, go into the visibility sequence and turn off the index number seven and that's it. One thing that I also want to do here is that I don't really like uh, when all the letters are being animated exactly at the same time, so I want to add a stagger into the shape kind of set here. And I think something like 1 to 10 will work fine, but if you increase this value, there will be a bigger offset in the animation. And also, I don't like uh, the way the letters are all uh, kind of like very strict. Uh, well, I wonder why, because it's a great distribution, right? But we can add a little bit more variability to this. And there are different methods that you can use. You can add the random uh, noise code. I'm going to use an array here. So I'm going to add array to value x. And now we can set the x position for each of this duplicate copies separately. So you can see that they can move our letters a little bit in the space. So I don't like I'm, I don't know like exactly what I want to do here right now. So I'm not going to try to achieve a perfect result, but uh, that's you know fine for now. You can fine tune this later. And I also just wanted to scale this down a little and maybe move the position a little bit. Pretty much this is ready, but uh, you can also see that here. The letters are rotating into different directions, so this letter is rotating 360 and those ones are going minus 360. And to do this, we can go to oscillator of the text shape and add uh, a value array to the maximum uh, value and set the rotation, uh, the maximum rotation for each of this uh, copies separately. You can already see that something weird is happening, but right now, where was me, I'm just going to set my numbers. Uh, you don't have to go like 360 minus 360, you can add a bit more variation, but this works for me uh, just fine. And right now, again, uh, Kapovri is looking at the wrong 
context. Uh, we want to use the context of the second duplicator, not uh, of the whole thing, right? So we can just go again to our context index and connect it to the value array array index. And now it works just fine. All right, let's uh, turn uh, this animation we just created into this one. Go to the pretty fast. We just need to duplicate our original composition and we're going to delete the thing that we don't need, the value array and the oscillator on the stagger for the scale and we don't need the rotation so we're going to set rotation back to zero. Let's change background to black and the text shape fill to this beige color and it's choked black. And the stagger we're going to set to something one and then the maximum to 1.4. Uh, what else? Uh, so the position, I think I'm also going to increase the position uh, oscillation a little bit and increase the time scale to 1. And we're going to add as oscillation on position X. So here we go. So I used these values uh, when I was creating animation, but it was kind of like you know, part of the experimentation. So right now the X position is changing, you know, happening all at the same time. So we're going to add uh, the stagger. So I think two is enough. And I'm also going to increase the copies on the duplicator. So I use something like 22 or 25 and then increase the size. And now the only thing that I want to change is that we add a little bit more randomness into the letters you know, shape time of set. So right now it's 1 to 10 and then we're going to do something like 110. Right? You can, you know, experiment and see whichever looks better and then you can also position it better and maybe play a little bit with the grid settings. And that's it. Uh, this is how we went from here to here and I uh, hope you can see that you can do a lot with this technique. Uh, so it's really easy to just, you know, experiment and add like, a, let's add noise here, let's add oscillator here. So you can create something of your own. And I'm also going to walk you through all of my explorations. So uh, at first I started with just exploring different types of animation for the base, different uh, fonts, and then also experimented with the um, weight of the font. So I wouldn't recommend you using uh, variable fonts if you're not actually planning to animate weight, so better use regular fonts. So there were some, you know, crazy experiments <laughs> over here. And then I also played a little bit with colors, so I created the index to color utility and connected it to the text shape fill color. You can also make it look sort of like a gradient, so it goes from black to white. Or you can even use words instead of the letters uh, and then add maybe like some text shape background with bevel. And uh, again, there is an index to color utility. And I hope you uh, got a little bit of a better idea of what is context index and why and how we can use it. And uh, I'm looking forward to see your experiments with this technique and looking forward to do new tutorials. See you soon.